What is going on ladies and general, Sichibu Harvest over from Tech Benchmarks and in this video we'll be taking a look at the performance of PAL Worlds on the RTX 4070 Ti. For CPU I'm using the i7-13700F and for RAM I'm using 32 gigs of DDR5 uh, 6000 megahertz of RAM. Now it has already been a few days since uh, the launch of uh, PAL World. The game is available on Xbox Game Pass and and as on, on Steam as well. So yeah, I have the Game Pass version, but <clears throat> I also but I decided to go with the Steam version because the Steam version is more updated and there are a few settings that are present on the Steam version that aren't available on the Game Pass version. That's just weird, but it is what it is. So let's quickly check out the graphics. By the way, if this video ends up helping you, then consider uh, subscribing to the channel and give it a like if you want okay now let's quickly check out the graphic settings so i am on uh epic preset uh window is going to be on full screen max fps i'm going to set it on no limit i don't want vsync don't want motion blur everything else we have tsr taa fxaa and uh yeah that's that's about it view distance is going to be epic every grass details shadows effects textures everything is going to be on epic we do not have amd fsr we have dlss and we have yeah all right so we're going to be test testing the normal settings normal aa settings then we'll be trying out dlss field of view is going to be on max camera shake is going to be an on right camera distance is going to be on max now let's quickly check out the game by the way, oh, we are already getting an invasion. By the way, if you don't know how the game works, this is the perfect. These are perfect way to show you how it works. I'm gonna deploy my pal. Basically, these guys are invading my uh, tower. This is my base that me and my friends have uh, built. I'm gonna set this mode to attack. So now every player will, I mean, every single pal that I have on my base will start attacking the... Alright, we're getting around 75 FPS. Now, looking at the game, you might think that the... That the game is pretty, I mean, less demanding, but that is not the case, actually. <laughs> The game is pretty demanding. As you can see on a 4070 Ti, I'm just getting about uh, 89, 86. I'm dropping. And I think we were dropping to 60s and even 70s during the fight. So yeah, this game is not that uh, optimized. Actually, it makes sense because a lot of stuff uh, is going on in front of you. So yeah. And it is amazing the number of things you can do in this game. It's just truly amazing. So I'm gonna deploy my flying Pokemon. Did I say Pokeball? <laughs> my flying pal. <laughs> so this is so this is what what it is. Okay. So I just uh, me and my friends we just cannot wrap around the word pal. Okay. So we just. So we never use the word pal. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I have grown up playing a lot of uh, Pokemon games, but yeah, the, that has stuck to my mind, so. Okay, I do not have any. Bro, where is my... Okay, he's dealing with this one. I want to try and catch it and see how it goes. What's going on?
Okay, now you can come back and I'll try to catch it. There we go. I just got an Incineram. You can glide, you can fly, you can horse ride in this game. So there are a ton of stuff. By the way, uh, this sound is from actually an airplane. I live very close to an airport, so yeah. <laughs> there are always airplanes going by. The world actually looks really good. So I'm gonna... It's actually really fun. Not gonna lie. Yeah, we are getting around 80 to 90 FPS. I obviously have OBS running in the background. So that is consuming around, um, I would say, 5 to 10 FPS. So, yeah. The range is crazy. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this is without DLSS. Let's just try DLSS now and see how it goes. We're gonna set DLSS to quality. And okay, so we immediately got a... Uh, 10 FPS boost. This is a Mamoras. This is level 40, uh, 34. Uh, you... Like, if you're a low level... Do not mess, mess with him. Or her. As a matter of fact. Or they. Or them. Yeah, with DLSS, it says it's running fine. No problem at all. The game looks really pretty. Bro, I don't want to fight. Okay, if you want to fight, I'll, I'll go ahead and fight. You can also climb, uh, if you have enough stamina, of course, uh, obviously, like Genshin. So yeah, there is climbing mechanic here. Yeah, it's really amazing the number of stuff you can do in this game. Like, the numbers that you see on Steam they make sense because it has been a while since a developer has released a game like this a fun game like this um at such a low price uh the players you're who are playing this game are actually people who have been like desperate for time and they have been waiting for a good game to land uh for ages 
and the AAA studios have been letting them down constantly. So yeah, I mean, I I'm one of them. Like I play like AAA, AA games all the time, and I can tell the difference between a fun game and a non-fun game. This is a fun game. That's why people are playing it. Alright, so, uh, if you are on a 4070 Ti, I do, I, I'm sure that you don't have to downgrade the settings. But if you want, you, you can, but, I mean, 90 to 100 FPS with DLSS uh, on 1440p is fine. Um, so, yeah. So, if you have RTX 4070 Ti, you should be good. So I would say that enjoy Power at the highest settings because this game is beautiful and uh, enjoy the game at its uh, full glory. So yeah, that's it for this video guys and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.